So, you want to bag your Ford Mustang. Hello and welcome to a new video guys here at Fitment TV. And today, we have a updated catalog video for uh, the Ford Mustang. And as you can see, we're trying to change the format of the series to something more interactive. Okay, we've been doing these videos for like two years, three years. And I think it's nice to have a, you know, change of pacing. Now, with this generation, well, not generation, with this catalog video, an updated version of the Ford Mustang Mark VI or the S550 chassis will be showcasing what we updated throughout the years. The reason why you're watching a new catalog video is because there's a significant change to the design of what we did from the previous video, which is years ago, okay? The previous video is Gen 1. The latest video on this Mustang is a Gen 4 build. So it's a more modern build. We've done something different on the front. We've done something different on the back. And we've done something different on the layout. So it's a pretty heavy change. So I'm like, sige, let's shoot another video. But before all of that, please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Hit the bell icon for a notification. And all right, so dating gawe, we're going to discuss the under chassis part of this video. It's going to get it's going to get technical and educational, but nonetheless, lend me your ears as we dive into this updated catalog of the Ford Mustang Mark VI. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the front suspension of the Ford Mustang Mark VI S550 chassis. And this is the updated version of our catalog video. As you can see, the car is actually brand new. Wala pa tayong dumi sa mga chassis natin, sa firewall and everything. Everything's brand new. Wala naman kami binago sa front design nito masyado. Ang binago lang namin is yung shock mount nito is shock bearing rather. We're not using the stock shock bearing compared to the first video. We're actually using a special shock bearing specifically made for air suspension. It's up there. Hindi mo na makikita yung stock. Yun yung binago namin dito for the updated version of this catalog video ng Mark VI Mustang. Okay? So what else? Yun lang naman. Nothing much changed from the previous video. Still the same McPherson type strut from the Mark VI video ng una. Still the same bag ang ginamit namin, okay? 5814 Airlift Airbag na double bellow. We call this the FAT, pero yun yung code niya, 5814 Airlift. And then yun lang ang nabago from the previous catalog video is the shock bearing. Andito pa rin yung hose line sa ilalim, same thing. Okay, let's move on to the back side where we actually have a significant change from the first catalog video compared to this catalog video, okay? Hello and welcome to the rear suspension of the Ford Mustang. Mark 6 S550 chassis. This is the updated version of our catalog video. So from the previous one, yun pa rin naman na suspension natin. Wala naman nagbago. This is a divorce type layout. It's a multi-link rear suspension. As you can see, ang dami mo nakikita. Medyo nakakalunod tumingin sa ganitong suspension. Especially if you don't know what's happening. We have an upper camber arm here. We have a lower control arm right there. We have a toe arm right here. We have the stabling sway bar right here. So, madami nangyayari. Ito yung shocks. Ito yung airbag. So, ang pinaka-difference lang sa ginawa namin dito laban dun sa kabila is that we actually went for a triple bellow bag. Yung bag na ginamit namin dito is tatlo yung bilbel. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there it is. Okay? It's one, two, three bellow bag. So, kaya itong ginamit namin so that it will actually increase the comfort of the ride of the suspension. And itong bag na to is specifically built for rear suspensions, okay? So, yun yung binigay ng aming supplier sa amin for these types of cars and we followed through, okay? Yun lang naman yung significant change and yung hose lines natin na doon naka-route, okay? And then, what else? Yun lang naman, medyo masikip talaga yung clearance ng Mustang. Mustang na ganito is actually one of the most difficult ones to do. It's, it's spacious enough, pero, kumbaga, it will caught you off guard. It's spacious enough to work with, pero if you're not careful, there's a lot of points na posibleng ma puncture yung airbag, like this one, the stabling. Kung hindi mo masasentro yung airbag na maayos, so wala, magsisira yan. Pero yeah, overall, that's all going to be it. That's all that we have to say for the rear suspension. Multi-link rear, divorce, triple bellow bag, updated version. So if you're gonna have your car done by us, ito yung setup na ginagawa namin. I don't know by other car, other manufacturers or other builders. But this is what works for us now. We've been doing this for a long time. 
And itong triple bello is we've done it for multiple Mustangs as well. So, kaya kinatalog na namin or in-update namin yung catalog video namin. So, let's move on to the system and see the difference from the first catalog video to the now latest catalog video ng Ford Mustang Mark VI. Alright, hello and welcome to the trunk layout of the Ford Mustang Mark VI S550 chassis. And you can actually see that the system is no longer in the far edge of the system compared to the first video. If you actually watch the first video, nandun yung system namin sa unahan. Now, as you can see, the tank is actually cut out. It's already cut out from the floorboard. And when we lift this up, you can actually see the system. Reveal natin siya, and here it is. This is our fourth generation fitment engineering air management system. From the first video, hindi pa yan yung nakalagay. Uh, Gen 1 pa tayo nun. Matagal na nun. And, pansin nyo, isang compressor na lang ginagamit namin kasi the updated system can actually hold the the car with one compressor. Sapat na isang compressor sa ganitong kotse. Actually, you'll be surprised that the Mustang is actually very matipid sa hangin. Front bag is 40 PSI. Rear bag is 60. Sobrang gaan niya. Okay? It's not a heavy car actually. It's heavy in paper. Pero kaya-kaya siya ng airbag. Yun ang ibig sabihin. Alright? So, we have provisions here. Sa taas na to, papalagay ko dito yung tire compressor ng kotse. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. Alright. Sakto. Ayan na siya. Yung tire compressor, actually, yung mga Mustang uh, guys, wala tong, doesn't have spare tires. Okay? That's something that you need to know. Mustangs here in the Philippines, they don't come with spare tires. So, what we did for the client for this build is just provided him this layout. And what originally was here was only the tire compressor. So, instead of just, you know, putting an empty space there, we put a Velcro tape underneath and then we put the tire compressor in front of the air suspension system. So, it's gonna look OEM. So, that's about it. Yun lang naman yun na bago. From Gen 1 to Gen 4, that is the difference of the catalog video for this Mark 6 Mustang compared to the Mark 6 Mustang that we actually shot a few years ago. A year and a half ago or two years ago, I'm not so sure. So, this is it. It's a much more cleaner setup. Honestly, it blends well and it blends better. And it's much, it's, it's just a cleaner look. Okay? From single compressor, from dual compressor to single compressor, and from being in the flooring to underneath where the spare tire is. That's going to be it for the system layout of this catalog video. Let's move on to the conclusions where we actually discuss, okay? There are our final thoughts for the Ford Mustang Mark VI updated catalog video. Hello and welcome to the final thoughts of this video for the Ford Mustang Mark VI. Quick summary lang. We actually discussed the front. Binago namin yung design sa harap. We went from stock shock mount bearing to a customized shock bearing for air suspension. So yun yung big major change on the front. Summary lang to ah. And then on the back side, from a double bellow, we actually converted it to a triple bellow. So yun yung significant change from the last catalog video. And as for the system, in the back side, as you saw in the discussion, we went from Gen 1 to Gen 4 obviously, and from the top, sa flooring, down to the spare tire area. Ford Mustang doesn't have spare tire, so perfect placement. All right, for now, on this part of the video, we will show you the vehicle, the vehicle dynamics of the car. So how will we do that? We're gonna raise the car up and see how far the lift is. So cameraman, atras ka ng konti. How far this will be, tiyan natin. We're lifting up the car right now as we speak. So let's give it time. Okay, let's discuss the front side first. The front lift is... We're putting 80 PSI, 90 PSI in the front. Right about four finger air up. Ilang, ilang, ilang millimeters ang one finger? 15 mm or roughly around 20. So just for basis, it's four fingers. So we're looking at 60 mm lift capability on the front or more. Maluwag yan eh. It's quite loose. So it's probably five, 4.5 fingers. And then on the back side, of course, I always say, the front fenders, the front fender arch is always bigger than the rear fender arch. So on the back side, you'll be noticing why is the rear only three fingers? It's because the arches on the back is smaller. If you actually zoom out, let's see the full lift rod. Okay, 
Show him. It's more pronounced when you look at it from afar. The fender arch on the back is actually indeed smaller. Okay. Now, let's drop the car. And discuss naman natin yung drop ng kotse. This is a Ford Mustang that is actually on stock wheels. We put 25mm spacers on it, so let's check the fitment naman, okay? Alright. So welcome to the fitment discussion naman ng video na ito. If you come close, we actually put 25mm spacers on the stock wheels ng Mustang and it's flushing it a bit, you know? So this is a 19-inch wheel. So if you would actually go 20s, fender to lip na siya, okay? So that's going to be perfect. But since it's a brand new car, the owner did not want to waste the wheels, the tires. So sabi niya, Kyle, just buy me spacers, flushing up the fitment, and yun. There's a bit of a finger gap here. Pag nag 20 inch siya in the future, solid na yan. Okay, for the back side, come here. Of course, fender to lip naman tayo sa likod. We actually put the same amount of spacer, 25 millimeters as well, and it flush in the fitment. Okay, so tama lang siya, no rub, 25 mm spacers. Diba? One more. Masakto, pogi. When you do, when he does get 20 inch, it's gonna tuck na, which is actually good. Ground clearance, very well, very well done naman. Uh, it could go lower, tires are a bit thick, 40 series, 19s. If he wants a low ground clearance, he can probably go 35 series on 19s. Pero if I were him, 20 inch na lang, it's gonna look good. So, something that we have not done here in the video is to show you how we put the stickers on the cars. We put this sticker to commemorate that this is our previous name before. And we only put this sticker if we're actually happy on the car or the car passed our quality control. As for this video, let's try to put this if we have time. If not, it's gonna get cut, but let's see. For now, join us as we approve or brand this car with the fitment sticker, no? Alright, so after branding the car with the fitment sticker, we can finally say na this car is approved and ready to go home. The client will actually get the car tomorrow. Kuya Joy, congratulations on your bad Ford Mustang Mark VI and thank you sa tiwala. And thank you for letting us shoot the car for our updated Mark VI Mustang So You Want to Bag Your Car catalog video. So that's a mouthful. But that's all the time we have for now. Is the Mustang a good stance car? A great stance car? Actually, yes, it can do a lot of things. It can be stance car, race car, daily car, race look car. And here it is. Here's our iteration, our updated iteration or version of So You Want to Bag Your Ford Mustang Mark VI. But before anything else, before we say goodbye, please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell icon for the notification. And with that being said, it's been Cal from Fitment Engineering, and you're watching Fitment TV. I'll see you on the next episode, and goodbye.